Good morning, everybody. It's Midnight and Beyond, welcoming you back to the world of Mario & Luigi Partners in Time. In the last episode, we made our way out of the Princess Shroop Castle sewers, which was very, very annoying. Then we made our way into the final warp pipe, which was even more annoying because it was very, very long and tedious. But in this episode, not much is left for us. I believe that's the top of the tower, and nothing else left to go but up afterwards, so... Once you reach the very top, that's all there is to do. That would have made a lot more sense, probably was a lot more inspirational if it wasn't sick in the head and just sick in everywhere else really right now. So whatever, enough with the attempt at being inspirational. Uh, that's, we, we've been here already, so we didn't need to check that warp pipe over there. I thought that was gonna lead to perhaps a staircase of sorts or like the third bridge, but no. Instead, this pathway is new, and inside we have a bunch of blocks, which of course I gotta get, and of course I fail at getting. There you go. Oh, come on. Over here. Reach it. Thank you. Got a bunch of items. Very, very good. Pretty much every single item I used in the last episode, basically. Now that we've reached the top, we can now see there's not much left to do. This warp pipe leads to the beginning, correct? Yes, it does. So we didn't miss out on any areas like I thought we did. Okay, at least that's good. We got to see everything, but I'm sure there were some blocks along the way that we missed. Maybe they had some good armor. I don't really know. I don't really care. I'm just ready to save the universe. Hopefully y'all are okay with that. I don't put the universe in peril for longer than it needs to be. Let's just go and do a good job. So nothing over here. We're basically just making our way to the top. A bunch of save blocks on every floor. That can only mean one thing. That there's trouble around every corridor. Danger lurking right behind you. There's a stranger right beside you. I don't know all the words, but I know that it ends with ducktails. A woo, a woo. Every day they are out there making ducktails. A woo. Tales of daring do bad and good luck tales. Not ponytails or cottontails. No, it's ducktails. A woo. Mario, my sensors are pinging. Yes, no doubt about it. The cobalt star is acting fully and sanitized. It's trying to tell us something. Let me interpret. Thank you for everything you've done. Now we must part. At least, that's what I believe it's saying. All of you, please continue looking for Princess Peach. In the meantime, I will try to ascertain the whereabouts of Princess Shroob. That is the generalized gist. I know it's gone. This is fine. Come on, we must hurry and join up with the princess. Super drops. And mushroom drops, just piling on the items. It's for a good reason though, they're not taking care of us anymore. We need to be taken care of because, oh boy, what's about to happen is one of the most difficult fights in Mario history in my opinion. Mario, sorry for all the trouble. This will seem rather sudden, but... Would you please save our progress in this area? Uh, it's just... My forecasted nation sensors are clicking away. I do not believe we'll be able to return once we pass through that door. I would hate to boot up a regret cycle for our adventure. Isn't it smart to save? You know, save? You'll save, right? Then, back to adventure! You heard the suitcase. It's the point of no return. Once we go through here, it's nothing but battles from here on out. And, turns out it wasn't the only heart block in the game. They just now give us one more restoration. And we certainly need it. Yep, 
if you're prepared to take on any challenge, step on the switch and be prepared for anything. Dire predicament. We must stop the mothership or this place will squishify. That reminds me. I think there's a saucer port upstairs. Maybe you could do something if you find a way up there. Let's take a look. If we can get a saucer, we still may be able to stop that mothership. Hurry up, all of you. And don't worry about me. I'll stay here. Yes, we do. Princess is counting on us. There's nothing we can't handle with her support on our side. So, let's head on up here and put it into that mothership once and for all. Just gonna make it up this staircase as quickly as possible. And time for one more saucer fight. Oh my god, her fro was the saucer this whole time! I wish my afro was able to turn into a spaceship. That'd be amazing. That's some JoJo jank right there, and I've never even seen JoJo. Now, this right here, if you fail, you will get a game over. You have a health bar this time, as you can see. So, do not fail, otherwise you will be in for some deep doo-doo. That is not very good. So, let's see if we can just hurry up and hit one of these things. You'd think it would ricochet off into one of them, but no. God darn it. Uh, just fly over him. Thank you. Okay, good. I was very lucky right there. Uh, do that? Come on. Oh, God darn it. Okay, we got hit once. If we get hit all four times, then it is game over. So, that's why I, re I recommend you save right there. And that's why Stuffwell recommends you save. So, you don't have to worry about that. So, you have to knock the UFOs into her. That's why. Okay. To know. Uh, of course, I keep on missing. Uh, darn it. Let's just uh, do that. Come on, how can I possibly be missing every single one of them? Uh, get hit two more times and then we're done, so let's not have that happen. Of course, I keep on missing. Uh, just, just get rid of it at least. Come on. 
Oh, this could be really bad. At least I saved beforehand. I was really like contemplating not saving just for the sake of uh, protecting the recording, but protecting my progress is a little bit more important for me because I really don't want to do that other thing with the stinking railways again. And my cat just took a really big dump in its litter box, so I could smell it a mile away. Uh, please do not hurt me, thank you. Uh, so I have to deal with a cold, smelling cat poop, and having one HP in a battle that could lead into a game over. Great. Uh, let's hurry up and shoot out another UFO. Uh, not very good. Come on, are you serious? And we end up dying. That's great. Just float on down. Very chill way of getting a game over. Well, we got to see a game over screen before the LP ended, I guess. Hopefully the recording's intact, that's all I can really say. Oh my leather! Before hitting that save album, listen! I have investified the flight program that downloaded from the mothership. Yes, I realized that I could recombobulate it to allow you to travel through time. As if we haven't been doing that a million times already. Using this program, you can return to the recent past. I've decided to call it Stuffwell Special Service Warpulator. Hew, 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 hew. If there's something you forgot or especially want to do, I can take you back to the time before you rescued Peach. What do you want to do? So this is allowing you to return before the point of no return in case you are just having a really single tough time in the final boss and you really need to go ahead and get some more levels or some more items. This allows you to do so. I don't really need to do that, however. We're just going to save like normal. And now we don't have to go through Peach's dialogue again anytime we die in the future. I did, but now we have to go through Stuffwell's dialogue anytime we try and save for the rest of the game. Hooray. But, and you, God darn it, I was trying to get the babies. No. Just get over here. I want to hurry up and save the universe. First it was all climactic and epic and stuff, and now it's all anticlimactic and not epic and not stuff. Get on here, enter the thing, and let's have another afro battle. Hey, wait, it's made of metal. Does that make it a frobot? Oh, whatever. Only like five people are gonna get that reference. Either the cat poop smell has finally disappeared, or my nose is so sing clogged I can't smell it anymore. Why can't I hit this? Thank you. Okay, just avoid it for a little bit. Just wait for it to go by. I do not want to deal with this right now. Okay, just need to get rid of it. It's 4 HP, and we'll be good to go. Let's see, what are you going to do? What are you going to do for us, buddy? Stay in the middle right there. Oh, come on, I was right singing there. Okay, we got one, but it wasn't near the shrew princess, so it didn't matter. Uh, go all the way up here. Uh, that's too high. God darn it, oh, maybe it wasn't been too high. Uh, what even is she doing? God darn it. Okay, get rid of that one. Uh, I don't even know if I want to go risk it too early or whatever. At least you could dodge some of them, which is nice. So, just go ahead and do that. Wait it out a little bit, unfortunately. Very non-epic. Uh, hit that. I remember I was like super against the word epic and when I started hearing it used in like uh, games and shows I was just like, uh, why is pop culture words getting used in my bitch again and stuff. I still get weirded out whenever like cell phones appear in video games or in anime. It's just like really super weird to me. Like, what the heck is that thing? You shouldn't have that. Uh, just go up here. Go up here. Uh, come on. Yes, there you go. Only one more HP. We have full health, which is nice. And there you go! Much easier the second time around.
you so the mothership's impact knocked out the barrier. Oh yeah. Now you've done it. You're useless now, Peach. Time to finish you. You cannot escape. This kingdom is mine. I will destroy you all. Destroy. Let's go. What I consider to be one of the hardest final battles in Mario history. This is Princess Shroob. She has a barrier up right off the bat that blocks all damage. So I recommend starting with a trampoline to get rid of that thing ASAP. I cannot tell you how many second times I have failed to this fight in the past. It was ridiculous how long I was stuck on this fight. It was an ordeal like no other trying to beat this thing for the first time. Let's see of all of my skill and good luck and extra knowledge of the game from uh, just being a better player now that I've had throughout this entire LP will be incorporated into this final battle and things will turn out okay. I can use a pocket chunk because I don't want to waste the tramplings too much and I'd like to see a nice variety of items throughout this fight. We cannot do anything to her until we get this barrier taken care of and the hammer doesn't even do anything to begin with so don't worry about it. Just focus on the bros jumping. As soon as we get rid of that, we can actually start doing damage to her. But I'm pretty sure as soon as we get rid of the barrier, is gonna cut us off and then we're gonna have to like waste a turn basically or just go to the next turn so we can't just keep this combo going and then it will let us go to the next thing or let us start doing damage to her right here and now if you know what the heck i'm trying to say because i don't even know entirely what i'm trying to say i think the barrier is gone by now but uh just for the sake of making sure we can absolutely certain we are going to just keep on doing that and i'm pretty sure we can stop now okay and after that, it breaks apart, and her chair falls to the ground. So now she's going to start throwing stars at us. These will not stop. She will keep on throwing this until it either hits you or you jump on it. There is no other way to stop it. Thankfully, I was able to get it pretty quickly, but it keeps on going faster and faster and faster with every single time it loops around. Let's go ahead and use a copy flower. Oh my god, like, I can't believe we're finally singing here. I, f I saved it, like, till the final battle this time, the spiel will be like, oh, we're finally singing here, because, like, that final area is really singing long, so I didn't really feel like I was, like, almost at the end. But now that we're actually here, like, I have so many memories of this fight just engraved in my mind, all of our attacks and everything. Oh my god, I can't believe we're actually stinking here, and I can't believe I'm actually- Oh, I was just about to acknowledge the fact that I was doing good with the combo, and even though I was commentating, but then I was about to acknowledge it, so I messed up. Okay, let's go ahead and use a red shell because I like variety. And we can't use that while her uh, chair goes back up. Of course, she'll get her chair fixed eventually. So let's just try and do as much damage as we can right now. Let's keep on doing this for as long as we can. Keep it up and hopefully we'll be good to go. She has an unlaughable, unthinkable, unimaginable amount of HP. So don't be surprised if you're here for a really stinking long time. Uh, Okay, here's the star attack. I kind of wish she would show us something different. Uh, her hand shows you which bro she's going to go for. If she lowers it, it's to Luigi. If it's higher, it's to Mario. Uh, oh, jeez. Oh, this is bad. This is bad. There you go. Okay, cool. Oh, here's another star attack. Okay, got him. First try that time. Go to Mario, and let's use a trampoline. Let's just keep on using the bounce attacks. Just use them as much as you can while you can, because her barrier is going to go back up eventually. And it's going to be annoying to get that taken care of. So she also has a lot of attacks her, that her chair can use while she has the barrier. Up, like a lot of lasers and they point in different directions. They attack both areas of the bros at the same time. And you have to determine which ones you need to jump with and which ones you don't need to. It could be very, very hectic and confusing. So I recommend you get rid of that barrier immediately. And I'm pretty sure you don't need me to tell you that. It's very basic information, but yeah, don't waste any of your... Don't even worry about holding out on your items. Just use anything and everything you got right here and now. 
Let's go ahead and use, say, let's mix it up a bit by, well, I said the word mix, so we gotta use the mixed flower. Okay, start firing away. Fire away. Oh my god, I'm just like, now I'm like completely determined to like finish this game now. Like, I'm so excited and stuff, and that was a really weak fireball. But 480 though, still a lot of sticking damage. Okay, that means she's at half health. Okay, there's the lasers that I was talking about before. So just jump with Mario. Uh, okay, then we'll jump with Luigi. You gotta see like, where the lasers are pointing. Uh, go like that. Uh, go with Luigi. And we're good. Okay, cool. Oh, she's gonna do something though. That looks scary. Oh my golly gee, that is really terrifying. Kind of like a Titan's Weevil. Uh, okay, okay. I think like at least jump with both bros at the same time and I get penalized. Oh jeez, oh jeez, oh jeez. That's not good, that's not good, that's not good. Ouch. That was really bad. Okay, so now that's taken care of, we will use another trampoline and try and get rid of her barrier once again. So jump on this. Jump on this. And there you go. Feel kind of bad that we might not get to see all of her attacks, but still, she is thinking threatening as heck, so I don't feel too terrible about finishing her off quickly. Because the sooner we get this done, the better. As far as we got her down to half health in uh, the first cycle, that's pretty cool at least. If we finish her this time around, that would be also really cool. No way to find out though, so let's keep on attacking, see where we leads us, and maybe we can finish this really easily. Keep on going, keep on going, keep on going, keep on going. I should be a Rhythm Heaven Master or an Idol Master Master, but I'm really terrible at Idol Master actually, and it's really embarrassing whenever I stream it. Oh god, 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 okay. Uh, we got ourselves 647 damage, my god. Uh, she's gonna attack Mario, god darn it. Oh god, now she's doing the jump thing, okay. Uh, do that. There's a lot of crazy attacks she can use, my god. She's absolutely relentless. Okay. Okay. Uh, hit that. Very good. And avoid that. Avoid that. There you go. She does not back down for anything, really. She uses a bunch of second attacks. She has really good speed. Okay, we got that taken care of. Attack for us to do a counterattack. Do I want to heal? Uh, let's just do smash eggs, I guess, even though they're kind of weak and stuff. Just trying to show off all the items and whatnot. Uh, wow, way to go, Luigi. Couldn't be a finale without a Luigi failure, I suppose. Uh, let's go with Red Shell. Kick him across. Kick him across. Luigi looks really funny when he's panting like that. Really weird out of context, but whatever. Okay, that was unfortunate. 163. Probably really no real reason to not use the whatever rose I'm your best with, but like I said, I'm trying to keep it variety based and make it seem kind of fancy and interesting. Of course, gotta use that word in the finale, but whatever, we're not gonna acknowledge it, even though I literally just did, and I acknowledge the acknowledgement, which means Luigi dies. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and use a one up super this time around, because there's no real reason not to. It's the end of the second game, so I can finally use a full heal right now. That's when I use all my max revives in Pokemon, so it's what we'll be doing here. Uh, I guess we'll use a cannonballer, a very classic item. Boo da boo da boo da boo da. B Y A X. B Y A X. Very good, 210. Oh, she's back in her thing. God darn it, so it's gonna be three phases. Let's see if we can do a bit better with this this time. She is going for. Uh, Luigi again. Okay. Just keep on dodging, keep on dodging. And. Okay, cool. God darn it. Oh, we got dizzy. There's a chance she could laugh as she's descending like that, and that means she's gonna like pause a little bit right before she uh, hurts you, so uh, kind of like throws off your timing. Please go for Mario. God darn it. Come on, just get. Stop being dizzy. Stop being dizzy. Luigi, what the fruit? How is he not dead? I have no idea. Oh uh, my god, a refreshing herb would help, but I guess we're gonna go for it. Get that taken care of, and Luigi, I guess you will use a max mushroom on yourself. Kinda wish I could do some damage this turn, but that doesn't seem like that's gonna happen. Okay, we got the lasers again, those are pretty easy to dodge. That was a really big mind game first time playing it though, because I was really bad at comprehending what it meant. Uh, jump both. 
Okay, oh, she whoops him out again. Okay, not by me. Alright. Uh, jump with Mario. Jump with just Luigi. And we're good. Okay, cool. Use the trampoline. And break that barrier. Okay, at least I keep on getting it one cycle, except for the first time I did it, but whatever, we're not gonna mention that. Copy flower, here we go! <laughs> wow! Okay, that's a way to end a final boss. Just completely ruined the tension by doing one stinking hit. And that is it. We have defeated Princess Shroob. If you thought I'd given up on getting my treasure back, you're dumber than you look. All the time I spent hiding and waiting is gonna pay off in a big, big way. I'm taking all the treasure for myself. They're all mine! Now it's your turn.